my Jeep Wrangler TJ has 100,000 miles on it now so it's time for new universal joints plus when I start out from a stop it goes tweet 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 almost every time I start out especially, I especially notice it when I have the top and doors off so it's not real loud but I'm hoping this project solves that taking the rear drive shaft out there's two universal joints in it one at each end once you get the bolts loose and the caps off you gotta kinda of pry it away from the yoke on the back diff usually then you should be able to pull it out of the transfer case unless like mine the dust cover the rubber boot is a little tight so we gotta loosen that clamp up I'm gonna wedge a screwdriver in there and open that clamp up then it should pull right out once you've got it up on the bench maybe spray every cap with some penetrating oil and then start taking the clips out and just use a large pair of needle nose pliers and a screwdriver squeeze it together with the needle nose and then kind of get underneath it with the screwdriver and pry it out and once they're out in this video I'm going to show how to remove the universal joints with a vise you're also going to need a couple sockets one that's smaller than the caps and one that's ID is larger than the caps and you can see here I'm working with the sockets one on each side I'm going to tighten it up and then tap the cast piece on the of the yoke on the drive shaft or the yoke the slip yoke and then keep tightening tapping tightening tapping as it moves hopefully it moves and this will push the universal joint out one side tightening again tapping again eventually it'll move over to where we're pressing the cap into the big socket you only want to press it until the cross of the universal joint hits the cast piece the cast yoke on the drive shaft you don't want to keep driving it into that and once it's sticking out the other side then you can pinch that cap in the vise and twist the yoke or drive shaft off that cap so a lot of times it won't just fall out if you don't get them sticking all the way out see I got the cap stuck in the vise just twisted it off now I'm going to reverse it my small socket against the now bare end of the cross and my large socket lined up over the other cap we've got to force out and repeat the process squeeze it down with the vise tap it with a hammer I gotta admit this is my least favorite method for removing universal joints I would much rather use the hammer method in my other video and, and really even the, the hydraulic press the arbor press is a better way to go but if this is all you got this does work Here you see the second one goes a lot easier going because you're only pressing one cap that cap sticking out squeeze it in the vise and twist it on out of there then once you get both caps off it'll pull right out you're ready to reinstall the new one so here I've got the new uni universal joint installed in the yoke show that in the arbor press video I'm going to take the caps off of it and place it in the yoke the cast yoke on the drive shaft
Then I got to work the first cap in. You got to be real careful not to knock the needle bearings out. You see, I put the cross up into the cap, and I'll put that in the vise with my small socket on the cap side, pushing the cap into the yoke and the drive shaft. Just like taking it out, you got to tap it every now and then if it wants to stop. So if you can't turn that vice handle, just tap the yoke with the hammer. It'll eventually get in there. And then once you get it in, and press it in well past the slot and so that you can get the clip in. Push it in well past so that it will stick out the other side. So when it comes time to put the other cap on, there will be some cross, some axle there for the, to hold the needle bearings in place. And put it back in the vise again with the small socket, pressing it in so you can push it in past the edge of the yoke. Tapping it with a hammer, squeezing it more with the vise. If you watch close enough, you can see when it moves and then you can tighten it with a vise, and if it doesn't move, tap it with a hammer. Put the other clip in. Once the clips are in, not a bad idea to hit them with a hammer. Just kind of seat them. You make sure they fall back in that groove. When I put the drive shaft back in, I'm going to first line it up with the rear differential yoke, and then pull it out of that, and kind of remember the attitude while I slide it onto the output shaft of the transfer case. Push it all the way in, working it into that dust boot and put it back in the yoke of the differential. And all the yellow lines should then line up. Make sure that the caps on that back universal joint are within the little tabs on the pinion yoke. And I got to put all the bolts back in, the straps back on, the bolts back in. And then I got to tighten that clamp up on the dust boot. And that's it. It's not that hard a project. You can do this one. Jeep on.